Come on, let's go. Clean bridge. Two. What's up wild ones today we are taking a trip on the Washington State Ferry from Seattle to Bainbridge <laughs> So it's a, 
it's beneficial to be a cyclist, a motorcyclist. And uh, you also see bicyclists on. Quite a few people walk on or ride bikes. They commute from uh, Bainbridge to Seattle and then back. So a lot of uh, uh, commuting goes on throughout the whole system, not just to Bainbridge, but to all over. The system also has international ferries that have ports of call in British Columbia so that uh, United States citizens can travel to Canada and Canadians can travel to the United States. And something interesting about the ferry system, uh, safety-wise, uh, they do not have lifeboats for all of the passengers on the ferry, but that is because there are so many ferries going back and forth that if there were to be an accident, the likelihood of you needing lifeboats for everybody is slim to none. The only vessels that do have full lifeboat capacities uh, or capacity are the ones that travel internationally. So the ferry crosses Puget Sound, and Puget Sound is a part of, or it's an inlet, or uh, a bay, or a recess part of the ocean. So it is salt water, and Puget Sound actually has 1,400 miles of uh, shoreline. It has about 500 square miles of uh, water. It's at its deepest, it's about 958 feet deep with an average depth of 450 feet. So, um, and there are 300 islands in uh, the Puget Sound area. So the Sound is a beautiful area that Washington gets to uh, have and enjoy all the time. All right, so there are several different things that you can see from the ferry that make it a pretty interesting experience. You can see Mount Rainier, which is 14,410 feet tall, and that's the fifth tallest point in, or the fifth highest point in the United States. And it's beautiful. We always say in Washington, the mountain is out, and luckily today the mountain is out. It's got a little haze over it, but it is still beautiful. Uh, you can also see the Space Needle, which is that iconic uh, symbol that you always see in footage of Seattle. And that uh, Space Needle is 605 feet tall. And then you can also see the Ferris Wheel along the boardwalk of the, uh, of the Sound. And then you can also see the aquarium that is along the, the boardwalk of the Sound. And then you can also, uh, if you're fans of any of the sporting teams in Seattle, you can see T-Mobile Park where the Mariners play. And then you can also see Lumen Field where the Seahawks play and where the Sounders play as well. So another interesting thing about being in the Sound uh, and the geography of Washington itself, here on the ferry, depending on the direction that you're looking, you can see either the Cascade Mountains, or if you go the other direction, you can see the Olympic Mountains. Beautiful setting any way you look. So I think our time on the ferry is getting close to an end, so thanks for coming with us. Oh, yep, did you hear that? <laughs> that means uh, it's time to get back to your, to your vehicles, and they always let you know with uh, a horn to say, hey, 
it's time to get back in your vehicle so that you can uh, drive off of the ferry. It's time for me to head back to Beaker, our Jeep, and uh, spend the rest of the day on Bainbridge Island.